Savitri, Book 3, The Book of the Divine Mother, Canto 1, The Pursuit of the Unknowable. All is too little that the world can give. Its power and knowledge are the gifts of time and cannot fill the spirit's sacred thirst. Although of one these forms of greatness are, and by its breath of grace our lives abide, Although more near to us than nearness self, it is some utter truth of what we are, hidden by its own works, it seemed far off, impenetrable, occult, voiceless, obscure. The presence was lost by which all things have charm, the glory lacked of which they are dim signs, the world lived on made empty of its scars, like love when the beloved's face is gone. The labour to know seemed a vain strife of mind, all knowledge entered in the unknowable. Therefore to rule seemed a vain pride of will, a trivial achievement scorned by time, all power retired into the omnipotent. A cave of darkness guards the eternal light, a silence settled on a striving heart, absolved from the voices of the world's desire. He turned to the ineffable's timeless call, a being intimate and unnameable, a wide compelling ecstasy and peace, felt in himself and all, and yet ungrasped, approached and faded from his soul's pursuit, as if forever luring him beyond. Near it retreated for, it called him still, nothing could satisfy, but its delight. Its absence left the greatest actions dull. Its presence made the smallest seem divine. When it was there, the heart's abyss was filled. But when the uplifting deity withdrew, existence lost its aim in the inane. The order of the immemorial planes, the godlike fullness of the instruments, were turned to props for an impermanent scene. But who that mightiness was, he knew not yet. Impalpable, yet filling all that is, it made and blotted out a million worlds, and took and lost a thousand shapes and names. It wore the guise of an indiscernible vast, or was a subtle kernel in the soul, a distant greatness left in huge and dim, a mystic closeness shut it sweetly in. It seemed sometimes a figment or a robe, and seemed sometimes his own colossal shape. A giant doubt overshadowed his advance, across a neutral all-supporting void, whose blankness nursed his lone immortal spirit, allured towards some recondite supreme aided, coerced by enigmatic powers, aspiring and half-sinking and upborne, invincibly he ascended without pause. Always a signless, vague immensity brooded without approach beyond response, condemning finite things to nothingness, fronting him with the incommensurable then to the ascent there came a mighty term. A height was reached where nothing made could live, a line where every hope and search must cease, neared some intolerant bare reality, a zero formed pregnant with boundless change, on a dizzy verge where all disguises fail, and human mind must abdicate in light or die like a moth in the naked blaze of truth, he stood compelled to a tremendous choice. All he had been and all towards which he grew must now be left behind or else transformed into a self of that which has no name. Alone and fronting an intangible force which offered nothing to the 
his spirit faced the adventure of the inane abandoned by the worlds of form he strove a fruitful worldwide ignorance foundered here thoughts long for circling journey touched its close and ineffective past the actor will the symbol modes of being helped no more the structures designs bills collapsing failed and even the spirit that holds the universe fainted in luminous insufficiency in an abysmal lapse of all things built transcending every perishable support and joining at last its mighty origin the separate self must melt or be reborn into a truth beyond the mind's appeal all glory of outline sweetness of harmony rejected like a grace of trivial notes expunged from beings silence nude astray died into a fine and blissful nothingness the demiurges lost their names and forms the great schemed worlds that they had planned and wrought passed taken and abolished one by one Or moved its colored veil, and at the unimaginable end of the huge riddle of created things, appeared the far-seeing godhead of the whole. his feet firm based on life stooping the swing omnipotent all lonely sea of time in what inscrutable with damn day attracted by the unfathomable regard the unsolved slow cycles to their font return to rise again from that invincible sea all from his puissance born was now undone nothing remained the cosmic mind conceives eternity prepared to fade and seem a hue and imposition on the void space was the fluttering of a dream that sank before its ending into nothing's deeps the spirit that dies not and the god itself seemed myths projected from the unknowable from it all sprang in it, in it is called to cease but what that was no thought nor sight could tell only a formless form of self was left a tenuous ghost of something that had been the last experience of a lapsing wave before it sinks into a boundless sea as if it kept even on the brink of naught its bare feeling of the ocean whence it came a vastness brooded free from sense of space and everlastingness cut off from time a strange sublime inalterable peace silent rejected from it world and soul a star companion less reality answered at last to his soul's passionate search passionless worldless absorbed in its fathomless hush keeping the mystery none would ever pierce it brooded inscrutable and intangible facing him with its dumb tremendous calm it had no kinship with the universe there was no act no movement in its vast life's question met by its silence died on her lips the world's effort ceased convicted of ignorance finding no sanction of supernal light there was no mind there with its need to know there was no heart there with its need to love all person 
perished in its namelessness. There was no second. It had, to, it had no partner or peer. Only itself was real to itself, a pure existence safe from thought and mood. A consciousness of unshared immortal bliss, it dwelt aloof in its bare infinite, one and unique, unutterably soul. A being formless, featureless, unmute, that knew itself by its own timeless self, aware forever in its motionless depths, uncreating, uncreated and unborn, the one by whom all live, who lives by none, an immeasurable luminous secrecy guarded by the veils of the unmanifest above the changing cosmic interlude about supreme, immutably the same, a silent cause, occult, impenetrable, infinite, eternal, unthinkable, alone. End of Canto 1